This video will show you how to use expanded column subtraction. On the screen you can see a subtraction 726 take away 358. To begin I'm going to expand or partition these numbers into their hundreds, tens and units. This gives me 720 and 6 and 300, 50 and 8. Because I am subtracting the bottom number from the top number, I must remember to put in a subtraction sign to show this. I'm also going to use a ruler to draw a horizontal line to separate my expanded columns from my answer. Firstly, I'm going to look at the units. If I look at this, I can see I'm being asked to do 6 subtract 8. Obviously, I can't do this, so I'm going to have to look at the next column, the tens column, and partition the 20 into two smaller numbers that I can use to help me. Because it's in the tens column, it's easiest if I partition the 20 into the number of tens it's got. So we know that 20 is made up of 10 and 10. What I can now do is add one of the tens onto the 6 in the units column to make 16, which I can then subtract 8 from, and then change the 20 into 10 to show that I've taken the 10 away from it and put it into the units column. So 6 becomes 16 and 20 becomes 10. Now in the units, I'm being asked to do 16 subtract 8. I can do this. 16 subtract 8 is 8. Now to the tens column. I'm being asked to do 10 subtract 50. Again, I can't do this. So I must partition the hundreds column into the hundreds that make up this number and use one of them to help me complete the subtraction in the tens column. So I'm going to partition 700 into 600 and 100. I can now use this 100 in the tens column to complete that subtraction and change the 700 in the hundreds column to 600 to show that I have used that 100. So 10 in the tens column gets changed to 110 to show that I have added on 100 to help me and the 700 gets changed to 600 to show that I have partitioned it to help my subtraction. Now in the tens column I'm being asked to do 110 subtract 50. I can do this 110 subtract 50 is 60. Finally, in the hundreds column, I'm being asked to do 600 subtract 300. This is much easier than the previous two columns and it gives me 300. Now the subtraction is complete and I've got my expanded answer. So if I put these numbers together, I will get my answer. So 300 add 60 add 8 gives me 368.